and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing today the December finished pages. Um, I feel like I've got through quite a lot this month considering it's been quite busy with my daughter's birthday and with Christmas. But let's get started. So this was the freebie from Colour in Heaven, the Hannah Lynn one. Um, I've used quite a lot of bits and bobs. I'm pretty sure I finished this on a live stream. I did the majority of it on, on the live stream. So I used Prismacolor in the hair. I've used the KJ Designs by Karen or the Paul Rubens. I can't quite remember, I do apologise. But I did use the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pens and Stickles on the eyelashes as well as uh, Glossy Accents on the eyes. Let me just move the light over a little bit, that should be better. As you can see, nice and shimmery. So that's the first one I did. Didn't think of making room beforehand, silly me. The next one is another Hannah Lynn one. This was just a quick little Christmas page. I just threw all sorts at this. It's nothing, nothing special. It was just fun to do. Uh, I've actually gone over with the Spectrum Noir <clears throat> sparkle pens again. Um, the Pentel Hybrid for the the tinsel on the tree. Yeah, nothing really, like I said, nothing really spectacular about that one. It was just, it was easy. It was fun to do. And then we've got my beloved dinosaur book, which I've harped on about quite a lot this month. I've done two pictures in this one. It's such a lovely book though, this, the quality of the paper, the size of the images. Definitely, it's a squared book, but I finished the, the parasaur. I think it's a parasaur. I should be say, taking all my stickies out, I forgot. Uh, I've used mostly ink tents for this with a splatter of acrylic paint mixed with water. It's come out super duper cute. Actually, I've put a bit of acrylic paint over the trees. That's what's happy that I did that in a couple of hours. Another easy one, black acrylic uh, background and intense for everything else. Nothing else, no shading, no nothing. And I think that turned out, I think that's meant to be a Giga Notosaurus. Ethan a crocodile, nice. <laughs> so we've got pop manga, mermaids and other sea creatures. I think I've, oh yeah, I've only done one in this one. Put all my tags to one side, I can reuse them. So I've actually finished this one and I've actually used the Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. And if I move the page ever so slightly, you can see how much it does actually sparkle. It's absolutely beautiful. And the pencils were Faber-Castell Polychromos. And I used the sparkle pens again for all the bubbles. Some of these areas did actually smudge, but I didn't mind it. I didn't mind that look. Added a little bit more to the background. It's not crinkled the paper, nothing. It doesn't come off on your hands. It's just here. I would thoroughly recommend this if you like glitter. Then try this. It does smell very strong of PVA glue. But if that doesn't bother you, you know, if you love that. So the first pop manga colouring book, I have done one out of this one. This is a double page spread. I use the definitely use the Paul Rubens for all the bubbles, the glitter. I'll zoom you out a tad. That should be a bit better. And I used uh, Faber Castell on the skin, the dress, watercolor paint for all of her and the wings, and then went over with the uh, Wink Estella on the wings, as you can see it glistening just there and here. But you can bet, I think you can see it a little bit better there. Yeah, that was a super fun page. Again, it was just easy to do, you know, not worrying too much. Right, Grums in the Neighbourhood. I think this is the first picture that I've done out of here. I think this, I did this at the very start of the month. And again, with the Mod Podge, that was the first time I'd actually tried it. I'll zoom you in slightly again. So I have used a little bit of stickles, the 3D fabric, um, it's like a glue. I mean, I think I went overboard with all sorts on this. 
it's Pentel Hybrid Duo on the clothes and like I said the Mod Podge on the snowman you can just about see it on the head but it works a treat and I think I did use a little bit of neon colour too on the background so yeah I love how that one turned out actually so we've got Dragons Assorted a hand drawn colouring book so this is the one that I got from Etsy so this is the first one that I finished this was just a really 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 easy one I've gone around the edges with sparkle pen again and if I remember correctly it was Faber Castell Polychromos for the whole of the picture so yeah another one I really enjoyed it I do need to get back into this one it's such a cute little bit I know I've done a background in one of the other ones I mean Neo Colour 2 background I was testing out the new colours I think I think it's that but yeah, it's such a cute boot, this, if you like dragons. Really fantasy. Uh, Mermaids and Friends colouring book. I have done two in this one. So let me just find the first one, which is this one. This is another book that I would thoroughly recommend. The per paper in this is gorgeous. So I've done a pan pastel background, just a block colour of background. Uh, again with the Paul Rubens on all of the bubbles and went round them with uh, white gel pen. I think I did use again the Mod Podge, the Extreme Glitter for the tail. Let me just lift it up a little bit. There you go. You can see it now. It's beautiful. Um, I use, I'm just feeling it to, to work out what I use. I did use Pan Pastel for the skin and the hair. I don't even think I've gone over with any shade in there, so that was a super easy one. Again, with the glossy accents on the eye and on the jewel on a bikini top. So the next one that I've done in this one, I think I'm going to start another one of these tonight. I really enjoy using this one. <clears throat> so I tried to do a watercolour background for this skin and obviously it didn't turn out as, as perfect as, as I would have hoped, but... You know, I'm not very good with watercolour, I do need to practice more, so, you know, I don't think it's that bad. And everything else is the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pens. I mean, they're bloody lovely. <laughs> I love them. How sparkly they are, there you go. So from the hair, to, you know, from a jewellery, to the beads, to her lips, everything. I love it. I've even gone over, I did watercolour actually for the hair, and I've gone over with the clear one. Let me just find it. Clear one, just obviously, as it says, it's just a clear one, but it does add lovely top coat to it. So that was Mermaids and Friends colouring book. We've got Alice in Wonderland by Jasmine Beckett Griffith, and I've done one in here. Now this one, I was so proud of the um, the cakes, and the donuts, and everything. I absolutely love. Let me see if I can just put that there absolutely love how they turned out i've never colored cupcakes in like that before and i'm over the moon with how it turned out i've gone over the cherry with glossy accents there's a little bit of stickles glossy accents over the eyes uh there's that stickle it's not stickles it's the crackle i'm gonna show you crackle accents over let me zoom you in a little bit more I want you to see this because it is quite unusual. So this one here, as you can see, there's loads of cracks going through it. And that's this. It, it makes it a super cool effect. It's the same idea as the glossy accents. It just adds the crackle effect to it. I've added a bit of Paul Rubens here and here and on the plate. But yeah, that's my favourite one this month that I have coloured. I have finished, <clears throat> excuse me, one in Soulmates. It feels like it's going on forever, this one. It really does. I'm going to a little bit more. Um, I think I did, I did the majority of this on the stream. So I've gone over all the sweeties in glossy accents. I tried to do acrylic paint for fur, but I think I failed miserably because they just look like that one. That one there looks like a, a rolled up sock. 
but apart from that I like the colours, I liked all the different mediums that I've used, tried a different skin tone adding more purples and greys, looks a bit streaky in some areas but hey ho that's fine. Right we've got four I think, is it fluffy? Yeah, four more to go. Got uh, Fairy Celebrations by Clara Markova. Uh, I know I've only done one in here. I know there's another tag. It's just one that I've not finished yet. That's a Halloween one that I didn't even get back to. So this is a Christmas one that I finished. Um, it was Polychromos pencils, stickles. Again with the uh, Spectral Noir sparkle pens. And yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed doing that one it was uh it was really really relaxing to do that one i think that was again it was closer to start the start of the month i was really nervous about using the stickles in this boot but i mean the papers took it just fine it's not gone through i need to finish that halloween one off naughty me so we've got the newest edition of uh, color in heaven dark fantasy special i'm halfway through another one but this is the one that i finished the one with the dragon, I couldn't help myself as soon as I saw it. I know I knew that I needed to get that one done. I've gone over the whole of the dress again with the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pens. I think I got bored at this point and just wanted a black colour. And it's uh, nice and sparkly. Can you see there? I love how her skin turned out though. I'm really, really happy with how that turned out. And I tried to do contrasting colours. I don't know if it turned out. But I'm happy with it. Like I said, I love the skin on that one. You should see all these tags on the table. Right, right we've got one from Misfit. A Winter Fantasy Colouring Book, number 10. And I did the Little Dragon with the Crystals. Again, I really did enjoy this one. Really did enjoy it. It took me two nights to do this one. So it was, like, it was um, a task in itself going around each of the crystals with a white gel pen. But I've used stickles, I've used Prismacolor, I've used Ink Tents, and I think that was it. And like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed doing that one. I think I might have. No, I've not done. I thought I'd gone over it with the sparkle pen. I have with the wings though, sorry, the wings and the eyes. But everything else, I've not. Yep. Yeah. So the last one that I've done, um, I'm not overly happy that this one's turned out. I feel like I've destroyed it. The first picture in my brand new boot that my husband got me for Christmas and I feel like I've wrecked it. But I'm going to show you anyway. Um, I don't like the black acrylic background. I don't like that I went for a blue hair again because I was trying to use contrasting colours with the blue and the orange. I like how the skin turned to, to, turned out. I like how the koi fish turned out. I even like how the lily pads have turned out. But I just wish that I'd gone for even a black hair, a really dark, dark grey or black hair. But yeah, I'll uh, think twice before touching this one again. I'll have to really think about the colour choices that I'm using. But it's not the end of the world. It's only uh, it's only one page, isn't it? So yeah. That's everything that I've coloured in the month of December. It feels weird to be saying that now. Why are we now? Saturday. Yeah, you know, it's January next week. It's scary how quick it's going. But I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas. I did, it was nice and quiet. My dinner went absolutely gorgeous there. Uh, my family enjoyed it. So I will probably, I'm hoping to get a what I've coloured in 2019 filmed but I think I'm gonna to have to do that in several parts because that's basically from when I started colouring so that they could possibly be long long videos um so I don't know whether you guys would be interested in that so would you mind just letting me know in the comments below I'm hoping to start filming possibly tomorrow if not New Year's Eve anyway I'm rambling on thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time Bye.